The movie Oppenheimer is continuing to have an impact on our state. Today, there were huge crowds at the Trinity site for a rare open house to see the test site of the first atomic bomb. Military officials had sent out a notice saying there would be long lines today. Tamara Lopez and photojournalist Luke McKinney give us an inside look at what it was like. The buzz of anticipation was in the air early Saturday morning as people lined the road to one of the most exclusive national parks in the country. Early birds arrived hours before the gates opened at 8 a.m. We had already heard of the site before, but after we saw the Oppenheimer movie, we thought it'd be really uh, cool to come see it. This year, the caravan of cars waiting to see the test site of the first atomic bomb was extra long after the Oppenheimer movie release this summer. Laurel Houston came from Texas. It's unique that you actually get to stand in the place where the world changed. The site only opens twice a year and this year site officials say over 3,000 people came out, some with other goals than just sightseeing. Well, I think all of us think of the bomb and the creation of the bomb and then what happens on the battlefield or not, but there's other consequences and one of the big ones is all of this waste that's, that's been produced. Mark Swan and his wife were passing through New Mexico and had to stop. Uh, we were in uh, Alamogordo this whole past week and people were talking about the fact that the Trinity site is going to be open only twice a year and we are lucky enough to be here. The open house also includes a tour of the McDonald House. That is where the plutonium core was put in the world's first atomic bomb. The test site is just a few miles away from the house. Swan says walking the same halls as Oppenheimer was amazing. It's, it's a bit overwhelming to think that they put that much power together in a little ranch like this <laughs> and then blew it up. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's scientifically over overwhelming to try to understand what they accomplished here. The open house gives visitors a window into the past and what life was like on the Manhattan Project. Side officials say the missile range was almost used for filming in the actual movie. Chris Nolan actually came out and toured the site to get a feel for it because he's really into kind of getting a feel for these historic films when he works on them. And uh, they even did ask about the possibility of filming the uh, uh, Trinity scenes somewhere in the nearby area. We're standing in the crater at ground zero and you can see the obelisk behind me, which marks the exact spot where the 100 foot tower stood for the Trinity test. One school group came all the way from Canada, seeing the sites in person after studying the Manhattan Project. And it is so incredible being here. I, you know, being in this little crater, just knowing that this is the site where human history changed forever is a really, really interesting feeling. Only harmless radioactivity remains at the site where man became death, the destroyer of worlds. And if you missed this weekend's open house, the next chance you'll get to come out to the Trinity site will be April of 2024. At Ground Zero, Tamara Lopez, KOB4.